Morning everyone, it's about half six in the morning. Rained all night, so we got some water, we had some serious rain. So uh, let's go up and see the intake, uh, uh, the weir, the dam, and let's see if we got some, uh, some water coming over it. I think we will. All right, excuse me if I look a bit rough. Been up about six or seven minutes, <laughs> something like that. Got up, fed the chickens, ran out. I knew it was raining last night, but I didn't realize how much. And uh, yeah, it's brilliant. We have had so little rain for so long. We got a proper amount now, and uh, we'll be fine now for water for like two months. Oh, straight out of bed, walking up a steep hill. It's good in the morning, isn't it? Anyway, yeah, we're gonna have water in the weir and uh, let's go and see what the levels and stuff are like. Cause it's good flow at the moment, that's more flow than I use for the hydro, so we'll see. Oh dear, I've had a tree come down. Willow looks like. Right on the path, get around that. Oh, I can see it, it looks cool. Yeah, let's look at this, look. Ah, oh, dear. Ah, oh, split out. So that's the job for today. Always something. Oh, it's good, guys. It's good. We have lamina flow coming off the weir. Let's go and have a look at it. How about that? That is lamina flow. That is exactly how that's supposed to work. No disturbances, nothing, no air going in. Perfect, so if you imagine a screen under that, that water's going in really clean and free of air. Perfect, overflow's going. Um, I think that's probably going a little bit too early, so I'll probably take that down, maybe 10, 20 mil, something like that. Because I'd like that to, uh, to be taking a little bit more water. You know, that, that's probably about the amount I want for... Yeah, that's probably about the hydro on full. I, this guess guessing, that's probably about the hydro on full. Then we want some extra to clean it, which would be that lot. Um, so we want really about that much in there as well. And then, and then start overflowing. So yeah, we'll come down a little bit off that. But that's easy to do. And also we're getting quite close to that corner, so yeah, I want to come want to come down a little bit. So that's easy though, I can do that. But how good's that? It's all working great. And I'm impressed with that flow. Look at that. I could mess about with that all day. That is, other than like, there's the odd disturbance and ripple in it from this edge not quite being a perfect circle. You can see there, that's causing it to have a ripple, otherwise that would be perfectly flat. <laughs> I'm impressed with that. The pool's nice and full up, a bit cloudy, it was nice and clear, but it's clouded over because we've had quite a bit of rain and it brings some mud down with it. But yeah. It's all holding. This would have been flowing a lot harder than this. The gravel I put down there is washed out to be expected, so it's on the rubber, but that's okay. Yeah, all gone well. All very, very pleasing to see. So I need to just make an intake next. Get an intake in there. If we had an intake in there, I could have the hydro on at the moment, but I don't, so that's all there is to it. All right, just a little update for you. The water coming over the weir. All right. All right, so that's excellent. I'm pleased with that. That's worked you know, way better than I expected. I expected it to be, you know, a nice, um, you know, bit of water come over the lip, but I expected it to probably be at least a bit turbulent and stuff, but it's it's coming over there way nicer than I ever expected. Um, and it's gonna be good because we're not gonna be pulling air into the system, which is perfect. It's exactly what we want. Um, so yeah, pleased with that. Um, so now we've solved the problem of the air going in from the top because the water was mixed up going over the stream bed. You know, the pool now helps to smooth that out. Um, yeah, it was mixed up going over the stream bed, which meant that it was uh, 
oxygenated when it went into the box and then the slight uphill with the pipe meant that it would pull in the odd air bubble you know air would build up it pull in an air bubble and the air bubble would travel along and bobble out the, um, uh, the stand pipe and there was loss there probably not a lot of loss but there was loss there so we made um, a slight height improvement and a slight efficiency improvement as well so good um, I'm not gonna have much in the way of content this week been doing some quite a bit of stuff off camera which I can't really show um, internet and security stuff stuff like that um, which I don't want to show the intricacies of so um, it's taken up a lot of my week sorting stuff like that out which I've been meaning to do for a while uh, so yeah I've just for the rest of the week I'm just gonna do tidying and organizing uh, just get things sorted out and planning material collecting stuff like that and uh, we get something out next week um, so sorry about that it's just stuff catches up on me if I try and get a video out every week uh, just all the thing or other things that need doing build up like I need to do a load of work on my van I need to uh, tidy every building needs tidying although I did get the workshop done yesterday and it's just yeah stuff just catches up I need to get through the to-do list the backlog of just life jobs and then we get back to projects right it's gonna be the end I'm gonna make some coffee and eat some breakfast wake up a bit right hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching